Let's take a look at how to create what I'm going to call a live call to action using Google Drawings. So the first thing to do is in your Google Drive, create a folder called Published to the Web. And that tells you that anything that you place in here is live on the web, so that if you make any changes to a graphic, a slides presentation, this will be changed automatically in the public version as well. So what I've done here is I've created a demo call to action using Google Drawings. And if I open it up and take a look at it, we'll see the first thing that I've done is I've set the dimensions to be the approximate size of our blog post in terms of width. So right now, if I go to File, Page Setup, and then select Custom and Pixels, you'll see that the dimensions are 605 by 275, but more on this later. And what I've done, I've got a transparent background. I've added an image that I purchased from Photolia and set the shape to be a rounded rectangle. CTA is a little bit better if it's not completely sharp edges. I created a book cover just using the standard tools within the application. I added some text and I added a free download button here. I've also commented over here on the right where this is being used. And you can make comments to say all the pages where this is being used on your, on your blog. Now you don't want to share this. You can keep this private. But what you do want to do is go into File, and then Publish to the Web, and then select the medium image size, which will reflect the dimensions that you set up. And you can copy this, and then go over to your WordPress blog, and simply paste that link into your code for your call to action button. So here I've got the URL to a landing page. I've got the image source right here. I added my alt text, and I also put in width equals 100 to stretch the graphic to make sure it fits the blog post perfectly. Now, instead of putting in this full link here, and by the way, you cannot take out the width and the height dimensions. I tried that. The URL does not work. But what you can do is you can go into your URL, URL shortener and shorten the URL, and then take this and replace it here and update. Now let's take a look at this blog post and we'll look at the call to action. So if we scroll down, here's the call to action. Now what I mean by live is if we make any changes to the source, this will immediately update what the public sees. So if I go back to the call to action and I do something simple, like add three question marks, and I go back to my blog post and refresh, you'll see immediately that update is reflected here. I could also go to the image, and I could make it a lot less bright or a lot more bright. And then again, that's an immediate change. So if I go over to my blog post and refresh, you'll see that this is instantly changed. So I can use this for some basic A-B testing. And also by using the Google URL shortener, I can see the clicks.